got a little dicey there, but um, it was a good job by everyone to continuing to continue to add on and pile on. And then Dellen came in with a uh, with a real sharp knife there. I know they weren't all your high leverage relievers tonight, but overall, is there any concern about the way the bullpen has pitched the past 21 games? ERA over four. Yeah, no, I, I feel like you know, especially with you know our really high leverage guys and and a few of them that were down tonight um that made it a little bit dicey and and that's part of it you got to be able to piece it together um at times and you know tonight wasn't a great night for us um in that regard but um i'm not overly concerned because i feel like um you know the guys that we're going to go to in the big spots um are, are all physically in a pretty good place Keeping it with pitching, what allowed CC to back, bounce back the way he did tonight? Yeah, I thought uh, it, was, it was really good, to, and, and for him to be able to get through six there, um, you know, he goes out and, and and gets Davis to start the six there. Um, you know, it, he he was a base runner away from being out of it, and to go have a really clean sixth inning to finish it off was nice. Thought everything was just a little bit better today. I thought he commanded his his slider and his change and his cutter just a little bit better. Um, uh, I'll, I'll be interested to watch and and see. Uh, you know some of the some of the pitches and and what it looked like on video, but overall he just seemed uh, he was generating that weak contact that we're used to seeing from him. Even in the runs he gave up that inning, a lot of balls off off the hands and that 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 dumped out there. So really good job by him and and a good way to kick off this this uh, this weekend. And Mark. you just talked about your back end guys being physically okay, but I mean, you know, just judging from the decisions there, it looked like you're trying to stay away from them anyhow and like give them some time. Like, is it frustrating not to be able to steal a day for a couple of those guys end up having to use them anyway? Yeah, I mean, that would have been nice, no question. Especially when you when you run out to a lead like that and you're trying to, like you said, steal a day for uh, definitely a few guys. Um, you know that that's a little bit frustrating. But that's also part of it. It's not always easy, and you gotta you gotta win some games sometimes when it's a little bit hard, and you gotta lean on your entire roster. And you know we were able to outlast them tonight. Dan, was your plan to go with Jonathan for three innings there, initially? Um, well, in a perfect world, sure. Um, but we we're um, hoping to, you know. Once we we're we're good with Robbie Britton and and Dellen tonight if we had to and would have preferred staying away from Robbie if we could just because he's he's in that kind of four out of six right now and with a two inning appearance there so um, but we weren't going to hesitate to use him if we got into a situation so yeah we're hoping um, we could you know if if Jonathan got on a roll we felt like he could roll through but. Then we felt like we had an inning plus with Britain if we needed needed him. He goes out, gets out of that inning, um, and then once we ran it to a five-run lead, you try and kind of protect the rest of the guys, but we ended up having to use them, obviously. Ron, <clears throat> is there anything you do differently if and when wild card is clinched or is need to get home field mean full guns through then? Um, <coughs> oh, I think we'll... You know, we'll we'll play this like we want to play this game at home. Um, you know, and that'll be something of importance. Again, you know, first things first, and getting in and making sure we handle that. But you know, once once that happens, you know, we want to do all we can to play play this game at home. And you said uh, this afternoon you'd have Sunday a starter post game. Yeah, uh, Hap will start that game. Yeah. And you talked before the game about Judge uh, that you. Thought he was getting closer, but just to get the results was that important? Just to see him, you know, get. His I, base I mean, it's hit nice, there. you know, and you know he's played such a complete game out there tonight. You know, he's good in the field. A big base running play there that that kind of gets lost in a 10-8 game where he gets in that rundown and does a really good job of setting up the second and third situation again. So just so many things he was able to do tonight, along with some good at bats. So um, yeah, that, absolutely good to see him get some results too. Zach Wright. Uh, the Hicks home run, you now have five guys with 25 homers or more. I know, you know you guys can hit home runs, but does that number mean anything to you? That's a pretty good number. 25 is a nice... Uh, when when Miggy hit his 25th the other day, I, I, I dropped a Bainte Cinco on him when he came in. Like, that's a pretty good one. That's 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 a good, nice round number right there to, to get to. Um, 
but yeah, it's a tribute to those guys and and just the kind of players they are, the quality of players they are, and and obviously uh, a group of guys that that can hurt you with the long ball. Justin to the right. It's with Picks hitting that home run. The power hasn't been there as much as it was in prior parts of this season. What, what did Aaron? you see from with with, with Aaron yeah. and his you know slugging home runs in general? What did you see from his at bats tonight and the way he performed? Similar. You know, I mean, home runs are one of those things, you know, unless you're a guy that, well, even if you are a guy that hits 40 of them or more, you know, they, they seem, they come in bunches more, more often than not, you know, you, you'll go through a week where you hit a few and then you, you may go a few weeks where you don't hit one. But, you know, the one thing Aaron always does a good job of is controlling the strike zone. And, um, you know, even when he's going through a little bit of a funk, maybe with his swing, um, he's able to get on base and he does that at, so well again tonight and uh you know got himself into a really good hitters count and, and took advantage of a mistake and i thought you know guardy um guardy being on first base there and i think i think ramirez kind of sped up a little bit and i think it maybe got hicks into that good count that netted him that pitch thank you Aaron.